Hi students and friends, welcome to the channel Learn and Teach by Sareaz. So I will continue my solution for 5070 for summer 2023 and the variant was 11. I'm done till 25, so I will continue from 26. Stainless steel is an alloy. It contains iron and more than one other element. Which elements other than iron are commonly used in stainless steel? In steel, we know that carbon is also there beside iron. So either C is correct or D is correct. Both A and B is incorrect. So in stainless steel, A usually add nickel because it resists corrosion. It's used in stainless steel. 27, the equations for some of the reactions of metals Q, R, and T are shown. These are the reaction. 2QNO3 plus Cu gives 2Q gives CuNO3 over twice. R plus TSO4 gives T plus RSO4. T plus H2SO4 gives TSO4 plus H2. Using the equations, what is the order of reactivity of Q, R, T? R is more reactive than T. T is more reactive than hydrogen, which means it's above hydrogen. And Q is replacing copper. Uh, sorry, copper is more reactive than Q. So Q will be the least reactive one here in this case. So the sequence uh, will be R, T, Q. C will be the right answer in this case. 28. Zinc is used to galvanize iron, which prevents the iron from rusting. Which statements are correct? Number one, the layer of zinc forms a barrier between the iron and the oxygen and water in the atmosphere. This is correct. Number two, zinc will oxidize before the iron does, even if the layer of zinc is crashed. This is also correct. Three, when iron rusts, Atoms of iron gain electrons to form ions. This is wrong because during resting, iron loses electrons. So only one and two is correct. So A will be the right answer in this case. 29. Three statements about the structure of aluminum are shown. Number one, the electrolyte is aluminum oxide dissolved in molten cryolite. This is correct. This is done in order to reduce the melting point of aluminum oxide. Two, carbon is used for both the cathode and the anode. This is also correct. Three, carbon dioxide is given off at the cathode. Carbon dioxide is given off at the anodes, not cathode. So only one and two is correct. So A will be the right answer in this case. 30, what is the cause of deoxygenation of water in a lake? It's soluble fertilizers. It's neither acid rain or excess calcium hydroxide or insoluble nitrates. So only choice D is the right answer in this case 31 dissolved substances can cause eutrophication and the deoxygenation of water how many of the ions show shown cause this effect so we have cl negative ion co32 negative ion and a plus ion no3 minus ion and po43 minus ion no3 and po43 minus both are coming from fertilizers so both of these are responsible for deoxygenation of water po43 minus also comes from detergent so we have only two ions responsible for this so we will be the right answer in this case 32 which statement about global warming is correct a methane produced by digestion animals has no effect on the rate of global warming this is wrong because methane is responsible for global warming as it <clears throat> absorbs heat and radiate in the atmosphere. The products of burning fossil fuels have no effect on the rate of global warming. This is also wrong because whenever we burn fossil fuels, we get carbon dioxide. It's one of the culprits responsible for global warming. C, the products of decomposition of vegetation have no effect on the rate of global warming. The products of decomposition for of vegetation is carbon dioxide. Again, carbon dioxide is the culprit. So this is again wrong. Only D will be uh, the 
only statement left in this. So D must be the right answer. The products of photosynthesis have no effect on the rate of global warming. This is right because the products of photosynthesis are oxygen and glucose. 33. The structures of three compounds W, X and Y are shown. So w, X and Y. Which statements about these three compounds are correct? Number one. W and Y are both alcohols and X is a carboxylic acid. Look at the functional group in W and Y. W contains OH and Y also contains OH. So both of these are alcohols. This is correct. What about X? X contains CWH, which is carboxylic group. So one statement, number one, is correct. Number two, W, X and Y have the same molecular formula. Let's write the molecular formula of these compounds. For W, there are three carbon atoms. So I will write C3. How many hydrogen atoms? 3 plus 3, 6, 7, 8, H8, oxygen, O2. Molecular formula of X, 3 carbon, right? C3, H3 plus 2, 5, 6, H6, and O2. So this is not the same molecular formula. So no need to do the working for Y. So this is incorrect statement. So automatically we are left with only one statement. Uh, three. W and Y are structural isomers of each other. This is also correct. They are structural isomers of each other because they both have same molecular formula. For your convenience, I am working out the molecular formula for Y. How many carbon atoms? Three carbon atoms. Three C3. Hydrogen atoms. Let's count the hydrogen atoms. Three plus one, four. Four plus two. Six. Six plus one. Seven. Uh, six plus one, seven. Seven plus one, eight. H8, O2. So both of these have same molecular formula, but different structure. So they are structural isomers of each other. So the only answer here which is correct is B. Choice D is the correct answer. Thirty-four. What is the display formula of propyl methanoid? Propyl will be coming from the alcohol. So that alkyl group must be propyl. So methanoid. Methanoid will be coming from the carboxylic acid. So let's see A. What is A? It's a carboxylic acid. It's one, two, three, four. It's a butanoic acid. A is wrong. B. In B, what we have? We have methyl. This is a methyl group. And this is propanoid. Methyl propanoids. This is also wrong. C. So what do we have? C. In C, we have this is ethyl group. And this one is ethanoid. Ethyl ethanoid. This is also incorrect. D is correct. Why? Because we have propyl and this one is methanoid. 35. The table shows some of the fractions obtained by the fraction distillation of petroleum and their uses. Fraction 1. Bitumen. Use making roads. This is correct. Number 2. Kerosene, paraffin, chemical feedstock. This is wrong. This is used as jet fuel. Three, naphtha. Used as jet fuel. This is also incorrect. Four, refinery gas. They are used in heating and cooking. So both one and four are correct. So choice B will be the right answer for this question. Number 36, which equation shows the reaction of ethane with chlorine in the presence of ultraviolet bright light? This involves the substitution of hydrogen atoms whenever alkane is reacted with halogen. So in one, A choice is C2H6 plus Cl2 gives C2H6Cl2. This is not substitution reaction. We are getting only one product. So this is wrong. Number P, C2H6 plus Cl2 gives C2H4Cl2 plus H2. This is also incorrect. The reason is that during substitution reaction, one of the hydrogen is displaced by one chlorine atom and the products will be chloroalkane plus 
hydrogen chloride. So you must get HCl here. So this is also incorrect. C, C2H6 plus Cl2 gives C2H5 Cl plus HCl. This looks correct to me. The reason is that one of the hydrogen is replaced by chlorine to give HCl and C2H5 Cl. Last one, C2H6 plus Cl2 gives 2CH3Cl. This is also incorrect, getting only one product. So C will be the right answer for this question. 37. Hexene 3 all is an alcohol. This is hexene 3 all. How many molecules of oxygen are needed for the complete combustion of one molecule of hexene 3 all? So we need to make an equation for this. We have six carbon atoms. So I will write C6H, how many hydrogen? 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 3, 15. C6H, 15, O plus O2. In complete combustion, we are getting CO2 plus H2O. How many carbon atoms? We have 6 carbon atoms, so I will write 6 here. What about hydrogen? There are 15 hydrogen atoms. Sorry, we have 14 hydrogen atoms, not 15. Sorry. So I will write 7H2O. What about oxygen? So 6 2s are 12. 12 plus 7. We must have 19 oxygen. So on the reactant side, we have how many oxygen? We need uh, to balance this oxygen molecule. In order to get 18 oxygen. So I will write 9. 9 moles of oxygen. So A must be the right answer for this one. 38. An organic compound P is dissolved in water. The concentration of the solution is 0.1 mole per dm cube. And the pH is 3. A solid is added to the solution. And effervescence is seen. Which equation could represent this reaction? These are organic compounds dissolved in water. The concentration of solution is 0.1 mole per dmp and the pH is 3. Point is that it is organic compound. It is not mineral acid. pH is 3, but it's not a mineral acid. So automatically choice D is incorrect. Now they have added solid. The effervescence is seen. When they are saying effervescence seen, it means there must be hydrogen gas produced. So I'm looking at the equations one by one. In A, we have 2CH3CO2H, ethanoic acid, plus Mg solid gives CH3CO2 whole twice Mg plus H2. This looks correct to me. This is balanced, correctly balanced. B, 2CH3CO2H, ethanoic acid, plus 2Mg solid, again, reacted with magnesium. Product 2CH3CO2 Mg equals, this is incorrect. H2 is correct, but this is incorrect. The reason is that Mg belongs to group 2, so it carries plus 2 charge. What about the charge on CH3CO2? All the organic acids, they carry minus 1 charge. So ignore their charges. So these subscripts will be exchanged, and you will get what? You will get CH3CO2 whole twice Mg. That's why this looks correct to me. C, 2CH3CO2H plus K2CO3 gives CH3CO2 whole twice K plus CO2 plus H2O. This is also incorrect. The reason is that K belongs to group 1. So the formula must be CH3CO2K. You can't have CH3CO2 whole twice K. So only choice A will be the right answer in this case. Thirty-nine. A paper chromatography experiment is used to find an RF value for Fe three plus equals. The chromatograph is shown. 
the chromogram to make the spot containing fe3 plus aqueous more visible the paper is sprayed with aqueous sodium hydroxide so that a precipitate of iron 3 hydroxide forms in the chromatogram the rf of fe3 plus is given by how you will get it you will get it by dividing x by y so either a is correct or b is correct you can't have c or d as correct answer okay the next one and the color of the precipitate is 2 for fe3 plus must be red brown so only choice a will be the right answer in this case last a laboratory has a powdered mixture of solid iodine and solid carbon iodine is very soluble in hexane and slightly soluble in water carbon is soluble in both solvents one sample of the mixture is shaken with hexane this is x another sample of the mixture is shaken with water this is y which procedure is used to prepare a pure sample of iodine a x is distilled x is distilled and the distillate is evaporated to dryness this is incorrect because you can't distill the x the reason is that iodine is soluble in x but carbon is not soluble in this x contains hexane fine so this is incorrect b x is filtered this looks correct to me and the filtrate is allowed to evaporate to dryness this looks correct to me because when you filter the x you will remove the carbon which is insoluble in both the solvents and then you will evaporate the filtrate in order to get iodine c x is filtered okay now you are filtering x and the residue is allowed to evaporate to dryness no residue is the carbon residue is the carbon we we are not interested in getting carbon we need to get the pure sample of iodine so this is incorrect d y is distilled and the distillate is evaporated to dryness again no need to go for the distillation this is also incorrect so only choice b is correct in this case thanks for watching press like and share my videos for more videos subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon